Canucks. Dubé Davison of Canada, 174.20 is the mark to beat. Kawaguchi Smirnoff of Russia, our second. Anima Langwa and Cody Hay right now have turned in a good skate and remain in third position. That's all pending the performance of Aliona Savchenko, the 23-year-old born in Ukraine, and her partner, Robin Sokovi, the world championship bronze medalists. They will skate to music from Cirque du Soleil. They are coached by Ingo Stoyer, who is a 1997 world champion. He is also their choreographer. They will open with one of their throws, throw triple flip. It's so big, there's room for another rotation. And now the side-by-side -side jumps, opening with the triple toe. Into a double axle. Wow. She is a good competitor. She struggled with that a little bit on practices, but she proved us all that she's a great, great competitor. about this team is they go from one element to the other. Nothing is telegraphed. You can't really tell what element is coming up. That was a very neat lift. Building speed now for their second throw. Oh, side by side. Triple sow cows and he opened up. She's able to turn it on when it counts. She was the one that was missing that jump on practice and on warm-up, but she did it. Aliona won a World Junior Championship for Ukraine in 2000. And this partnership today needs a 104.68 to win the medal here, the gold medal, their personal best is a whopping 134.01. Like I said earlier, these two have been layering their elements, making them more difficult year after year, which is ultimately going to put them at the top of the podium. from training. Final move, throw triple sal cow. Extra 
the mark because it was at the end of the program. With the retirement of the Chinese world champion Shenan Zhao, this pair is favored to ascend to the top of the world championship podium. They have everything in their repertoire to make it happen. Looking here at the side-by-side -side triple toe, step into double axles, very difficult. And they did them perfectly. Here comes a side-by-side -side triple sock out, and he turns his into a single. And in pair skating, if one partner turns it, the jump to a single, even if the other partner does a triple, you get credit only for the single. Costly mistake, but the rest of it, and David, your comment about how one move just comes into the next and out of the next, and especially with their lifts, it's just out of nowhere, strength and, and, uh, it's out and of balance nowhere. by it's him. It's out of nowhere, and they do it so well that when they do a lift, you barely notice him. And what I mean by that is she's in the air, so your eyes, your eyes are only on her, which is good. You don't want to notice a guy, because if you notice a guy, that means something wrong is happening. That's right, David. It's all about the girl. <laughs> In case you forgot. <laughs> this team trains often in the off season at the Toronto Cricket Club. Wonderful people. She's just lovely. Helps some of the younger skaters at the club. There are Jessica Dibbe and Bryce Davison in our set downstairs watching the marks of Aliona Savchenko and Robin Solkovi of Germany. Uh, they are with their coach, Ingo Steuer, won the 1997 World Championship with Mandy Wurzel for Germany. Once again, the score that they need, Solkovi and Savchenko, is 104.68 to overtake Dubé Davison. <laughs> So 61-19 for technical elements, and they're well on their way, yes. 58 even for the presentation, that means they'll be up over 119 on the free skate. And when you combine that with their short program, well, nothing to do for Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison, but watch it all unfold. Still, they had a very fine skate, so the champions at Skate Canada in the pairs will be Savchenko Solkovi of Germany. Well, no surprises here. The Germans proved themselves again.